All right, now today we are going to unlock some super cool and super simple features that will make your life easier on Samsung Galaxy phones. Now let's go to the Samsung gallery. I will open a particular image here. Now let's say I want to edit this image. Now I have selected some filters and I have changed the light balance and a few other options. And then I will tap on save. Now let's say I want to use the same edits on multiple other images. For that, all we can do is just tap on this three dot button. You see, we have got an option called copy edits. Now, when I copy this edit, all the edits that I've done for this particular image will get copied and I can just swipe towards the next image, tap on this three dot button and we get to see this paste edits, just tap on paste edits. And you can keep doing this for multiple other images. You see, I have swiped towards another image and I'll paste that edit on this image and this gets the same effect. Now, if you don't want to do it one by one, what you can do is just go back, select all the images and then tap on this three dot button here. Again, here we get this paste edits, tap on paste edits. All these images that you have selected will get those edits. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, now let's say you have set up a secure folder on your Galaxy phone. Now, whenever you search for the secure folder application, you get it right here on the search or you can also see that secure folder on the app tray and if you have placed it on the edge panel you'll be able to see that on the edge panel as well so what i'm trying to tell you is the secure folder application will be visible to anyone who has gotten access to your phone so to completely hide this secure folder from appearing on your app tray or anywhere on the phone all you can do is just go to the quick panel here you get to see a toggle to enable or disable secure folder. Now you see we have got uh, the secure folder enabled here. When I tap on this toggle, it gets disabled. Now, if I search for the secure folder, let's say I go to the app tray and search for secure folder, it doesn't show up here. Now, of course, you can access the secure folder settings from here. However, the secure folder application will not show up on your phone if you have disabled it from this quick panel option. So if you are someone who is using secure folder, then you should know this feature. Now, let's say you want to uninstall your unused applications from your phone. Generally, what you do is you select these applications one by one. Let's say I want to select this app. I'll tap on select and then I'll select a few other applications here now i can tap on uninstall button on the top left corner now this is going to consume a bit of time because every application will ask you a pop-up whether you want to install that app uh, whether you want to uninstall that application or not the moment you tap on ok the next pop-up will come up for the next application so you will have to keep agreeing for uninstalling each application despite selecting multiple applications to uninstall at one go now instead of this the best way to uninstall the unused application is go to the uh, my files application Application. scroll all the way down you will see manage storage I'll tap on this now this is where you get unused application option just tap on that you see we have got a list of unused applications now you can select the application that you want and tap on uninstall it is not going to ask you any more prompt to uh, accept to uninstall the application it will uninstall all the selected applications in the background which is a fantastic feature and you guys should know this as a galaxy user now on the notification panel, we get to see plenty of notifications from different applications for which we have enabled the notification. Now let's say you want to be reminded of some of the notifications from specific applications. We can get that done. We have got an option on the notification settings, which will remind us of specific notifications from specific applications. Now let me show you that. Let's go to these settings here. I'll tap on notification settings. I'll tap on advanced settings. Now here we have got this option called repeat notification alerts. Now let me just open this. Now I've selected WhatsApp application uh, to repeat the alerts. If I have not opened the notifications from WhatsApp or if you have not seen it on the notification panel, it will repeat the notification alert so that I know that I have received some important uh, notifications. Now let me select another application here. I will select YouTube Studio. Now let's go back. Uh, there is repeat interval set for three minutes. Every three minutes, it will alert me that I have received the notifications from YouTube. Now let me just open the notification panel here. Now I will just clear this off. Once I clear it, I do not get any further alerts for that notification. So keep that in mind, the notification has to be there on the notification panel to get those repeated alerts. Now here is another notification tip for you guys. Let me just go to the settings and tap on notifications and tap on advanced settings. Now here at the bottom, you see we have got an option called manage notification categories for each application. It says notification categories menu will appear on the notification settings screen for each application. Now I have enabled this feature 
feature. Let me just go back. Let me tap on app notifications. We've got a list of applications here. You see, we can enable or disable the notifications for these applications. But what's more interesting here is when you select a specific application, let's say I select YouTube, we get to see this option called notification categories. Just tap on that. This is where we can customize the notifications from this application. Let's say you have enabled the notifications for this app and you do not want to see some specific notifications. Like let's say you don't want to see uh, recommended videos. You don't want to see live stream notifications or let's say uh, subscription feeds. Then you can disable those specific notifications from this application, which is a very cool feature, which we have got on Android phone. Now organizing the applications on the whole Home screen is sometimes uh, painful uh, if you have downloaded too many applications and uh, if they are all cluttered on the home screen you may find it difficult to organize it because what you try to do is you press and hold on the application one by one you will drag it and drop it uh, in different locations instead what you can do is you can just press and hold on an application tap on select and select all the apps that you want to select. Now let's say you want to move these applications to the bottom of the screen. All you can do is just press and hold on the location where you want to move it. You see all of them have come here and just release your finger. You see, we've got all these applications sitting right here at the bottom. And I took just about a couple of seconds to do this. We don't really have to spend time on organizing your home screen. All these applications can be moved at one go in a jiffy. Now let me do this again. Let me select these applications. Now let's say you want to move this to another page. What you can do is you can just press and hold on these applications. Use the other finger to go to the next page. Let's say this particular page, I will just drop it here. You see the apps are right here. You will also be do it without using two fingers. Let me, uh, uh, select all these apps. I'll press and hold on this. I will go to the next page here and drop it right here. So there are multiple ways to do it and they are very efficient ways as well. Now let me tap on the edge panel on this Galaxy phone and I'll tap on edit button here and I'll tap on three dot button on the top. You see we have got a few settings right here. A couple of important options. Uh, one is to open in split screen view. You see we have got two options to open the applications in split screen view. We have got touch and hold. Uh, drag the application to the part of the screen where you want to open it or you can select tab to open an application in the uh, split screen mode. Now first let me show you touch and hold option. You see when I open the edge panel I can just touch and hold on this calculator, drag it to open this app in the pop-up view or in the split screen view I can just drop it here. This is how we open the apps in split screen view from the edge panel. Now if you don't want this what you can do is you can go to the edge panel, tap on this edit icon, tap on this three dot button and then select Tap. Now what happens is whenever you tap on an application, it will automatically open in split screen view. And that happens if one application is already open. Now let's say I have opened the uh, calendar here. Now I'll go to the edge panel and tap on calculator. You see automatically that calculator is opening up in the split screen view. This is tap to open an app in split screen view. A nifty feature you guys should be aware of. Now let's say you want to check the screen on time of a specific application. You don't have to go to the settings, tap on digital well-being and parental control and then check the uh, usage time, the screen usage time of the specific application. Or you don't have to go to the device care and tap on battery and then tap on the uh, battery statistics here to see the screen on time of all these applications. All you can do is just press and hold on an application and tap on I button here. Now this is where you get an option screen time. Just tap on that. You get to see the screen time. You get to see the notifications and you also get to see how many times you have opened the application. Just in case if you want to keep a track of uh, this information, you can just press and hold on the application, tap on I icon and tap on the screen time option here. Pretty cool. Now this is the last step in this video. Many of the Galaxy users are not efficiently using the application shortcuts right from the home screen. What I'm talking about is pressing and holding on an application will give us an access to the associated shortcuts right here on the home screen. Now let's say on the gallery if you want to access search gallery recents favorites you can directly tap on that to get into that particular folder. Now let's say you don't want to open the YouTube and then jump into shorts you can press and hold on YouTube we get shorts option right here you can directly go to the shorts section here. Now likewise if you want to go to the subscriptions you can tap on subscriptions and go there. Now on calendar I can just press and hold on it to add an event. On messages I can press and hold to create a message. On camera I can press and hold to uh, directly access is selfie camera, record video or take portrait. On clock application, I can press and hold to add a alarm. I can directly open the timer. I can directly start stopwatch as well right from here. 
This is a pretty cool feature which we have got on Android phones and I would suggest you guys to make use of this feature as well. These are some of the simple and useful features on Galaxy phones or let's say on some of the Android phones which you guys should know and should start using to get the most out of your phone. So make sure to use these features. I will be posting many more videos about tips and tricks and useful features like this on the channel. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational and if you're interested in this wallpaper on the home screen you can check that out in the description i have left a link for you guys to download it every video i post will have a brand new wallpaper you can check out all my previous videos and download some beautiful wallpapers that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye